idle anime can be hard for me to get into. There is an initial appeal about seeing characters working hard to follow their dreams, but then a lot of them just feel cliché and uninteresting after an episode or two. Bad Dream's second season, though, is able to stand out in a few ways that make it noticeable, even if the initial concept of idols doesn't really appeal to you. The season focuses on the main band Poppin' Party's goal to put on a self-sponsored show after they were part of the one that the band Roselia put together prior. But Roselia told Poppin' Party that they are not at the level to put on a show themselves yet, which is harsh, though not untrue. Throughout the season, the five bands each seem like their own character with their own goals and motivations. Poppin' Party is trying to figure out what exactly they want. Afterglow is a group of friends that want to make music together. Roselia just wants to make the best music possible. Pastel Palettes doesn't really do much here. And then Hello Happy World just does whatever they want, with the goal of making people smile. The first few episodes have Pop and Party interact with the other bands, and by understanding the other bands, they understand more of what they want to be. I really liked how this got more into the question of what their goals were, and how each band can be after something different. And another thing I really liked about the early episodes is how it showed that even a band without a lot of skill or experience can still touch people with their music. Sure, they may not be a world famous band, but they can still inspire a small group with their music. This may be reaching a bit, but I can find a parallel with YouTube here. Sure, I may not have a huge viewer base, but there are still those that enjoy the content I make. Or at least, I assume they do. Something I like to see in shows like this is how the characters deal with failure. Yes, hard work and dedication is good and all, but sometimes in the pursuit of your dreams, you're going to fail. And that's something the characters face here. They set a goal, pour all their effort into it, but then they fail. And worst of all, it's not from outside force that brings them down, but it's their character's own fault. A lot of times in anime, a main character is given two choices, neither of which are good but they instead choose a third option, taking a risk, and get everything that they wanted. But sometimes the third option doesn't exist or doesn't work out, and that's what the characters experienced here. I like seeing how they struggled to overcome this failure, how they were forced to decide what mattered to them in a situation where there isn't a clear right or wrong answer. Choosing one path means not choosing another. And again, I go back to how this relates to me making videos. Do I want to make amazing videos? Do I want to share cool anime I found? Do I just want to have fun with friends? Do I want to make as much money as possible with these videos? The answer to all these is yes. But in saying yes to one, I have to say no to others. And this is the challenge that the characters face in the anime. And the relatability of the challenge makes the show stand out quite a lot. I enjoyed the music of the anime quite a lot too, with each band having their own different style, and there's a ton of performances. I do wish that Verve had actually subtitled the songs because a lot of the meaning of the episodes came from what the characters are saying, and that just wasn't there. Still, the animation for the performances was quite good. The show is also in CG, but which definitely seemed odd at first, but once they got into it, it was pretty good, and that allowed them to do more performances, so this isn't a complaint, just a caution if you're not expecting it. Another one of the things that I like about this season is not all the characters were developed. Now I realize this seems strange, but this is how they scoped the season which this let it tell a better story with the characters that they did choose to focus on. There are six different bands through it, each with five characters, so that is 30 characters. Far too many to give all of them focus in a 12 or 13 episode season. So instead, for this season, they focused on a small group of the characters, letting the others be as more background, and then they may get more development or exploration in future seasons. And this is a good way to do it for a franchise that I feel like they'll try to continue doing more with every year or ever how often they feel it's a good idea. So if you're interested in idol anime that's able to do a few things to stand out, give this a try. And no, you don't need to see the first season first, though either seeing the first season or playing the game would help with some of the context. And if you're curious but not sure you should go watch it, go check out season two, episode four. Just go watch that one and you will enjoy it for sure. The rest of the season isn't like it, but that episode, that's just an experience. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I will see you all next time.